<laughs> so, uh, you know, behind the scenes story, last night at, at midnight, we had website bugs. Uh, but uh, um, thanks to some hard work and thanks to Apple for proving the app in time, uh, you know, we have a successful one. How long did it take to get approval? Well, we, um, we asked for an expedited approval because we had 25 in app purchase items being approved at the same time. Uh, and we knew there was no way that we would make it. Uh, we gave it two weeks. And we had uh, two weeks and the um, exercise approval, we just barely made it. So uh, the in-app purchases are, are an, extra, uh, an extra delay. And uh, although you can pretty well get an idea of how long it takes to uh, get approval, uh, there isn't much documentation on, on Google, you know, the internet. <laughs> about how long it takes to get in-app uh, purchase items approved in bulk. So if you're just setting one in, you know, if you just add another one, it takes a day or two. But when you have an app and 25 items, so anyway, so, so Apple was great for us. And, and uh, uh, you know, the app got approved and ready to go. So anyway, so that is a brand new website. Um, it's not quite the Instagram look, um, but you know, we're trying to keep it as absolutely simple as possible. Um, Gives you a bunch of actionable things up there, uh, available in the App Store, and that. Whoa. Yeah. So anyway, so I'll skip that part of the demo. Uh, let me unlock this, and let's switch over to that. Uh, and I'm going to lock this again, but then I'll unlock and, and show you some rotational things. So this is uh, the app, and it's uh, a puzzle store. The best place to buy the best puzzles. And so it combines a puzzle by world class constructors with basically a fantastic interface. And um, there's two parts to this interface. This is part one, which is a bookstore, uh, bookshop, look familiar. Uh, you tap on a book, you get into the cover of the book. If you tap on the book, we go into the book. And if we do one more thing, we're going to a puzzle. And this is the other part of the interface. And notice they don't look identical. There's no nice hand drawn mark here. Uh, in fact, if we hide the keyboard, there's nothing on the screen basically other than the puzzle. And the idea here is that we're trying to get out of your way as much as possible and provide a great experience for puzzles. Uh, so we look at this puzzle. Uh, this happened, I happened to open the Canadian puzzle. I've done this in a demo before. And I don't know Canadian trivia. <laughs> so a lot of these clues don't work for me. But, um, uh, I filled in UCLA because it was a clue for, uh, you know, Southern California University. So that always helps when they come across with some U.S. trivia in the Canadian uh, book. But um, it's not accidental that I clicked on a Canadian book because we have a book of Canadian puzzles. We have a book of British cryptics uh, from the United Kingdom, reprinted from The Guardian. Uh, I'm going to guess no one here solves Canadian uh, cryptics, right? Okay, that's not, it's okay. Uh, cryptics are a specialty. British cryptics are even more of a specialty unless you're in England, in which case they are wildly popular. And there are, you know, 10 every single day in the Guardian, the Independent, and the Times, etc. And if you're in England, uh, no, sorry, if you're in India, they're really crazy because they solve the British cryptics and they solve their own also. Um, and the, uh, the Indian British style cryptics are even harder than the British cryptics. So we'll probably have some of those in the future too, if you, if you really want to be in that. Um, so, uh, here's the book of British cryptics. And the idea here is that these books are different. So if we go to the, this book, uh, you might be able to guess that these puzzles might be easy. There are people who are just getting started. We got another book for easy uh, piece of cake. The idea is that not every solver is the same. There's a puzzle book here for you. So these books, uh, the top books here are crossword books. Then we've got some cryptic crossword books. Um, the uh, middle shelf there is a bunch of different wordplay type puzzles. Um, different types. Uh, if we go into one of these puzzles, one of these books, this has, uh, this particular puzzle is cheese is ending with certain letters. And the idea behind puzzles is not that you get stuff, because that's not fun. It is that you solve them. Best puzzles strike the right balance where you feel smart when you solve them. Uh, so who knows the bottom cheese? Yeah. And so 
Do you feel a little smart? It's a little bit hard. It's a lot harder than DAR for test or loan. Probably everyone knows what loan is. Program. Okay. So in this puzzle, they get harder as you go down the page. Um, we have a bunch of puzzles called Mentigy puzzles. And the idea behind this puzzle is you connect the alphabet. A through D, and there's a couple rules for how that works. Uh, let me go to one that's soft. And you can see starting at the A in the upper middle, A through Z winds around every letter connected to every previous letter. The guy who wrote these puzzles uh, is uh, won a bunch of awards for them. They're great, they're great puzzles, and they're puzzles people haven't seen. So our authors are mostly independent authors who we pay royalties to. And um, in this case, we can take a risk on this guy because we don't have to print 20,000 books and stick them in the warehouse. We think these books are going to be really successful, but our upfront costs are lower because we're not printing physical books and we're not sending books to landfills, it turns out that they're not successful. Um, so we actually pay people like this higher royalties to paper publishers and we still make more money. By the way, talking about how we make money, we sell puzzles. Simple, simple business model. Okay, so this book I already bought. Let's go to a book that I haven't bought. So let's go to the other energy book. And you can see the top two puzzles are enabled, but the lower ones are disabled. So if I go to one of those puzzles, we get an opportunity to buy. Uh, and I'm not connected, so uh, that's why it's not filling in the price in the description, which would normally be at the top. So if I want to buy this book, uh, which I think is uh, $2.99, uh, I tap the buy button, typical in app the book would have, oh, that's the entire book, all those puzzles. Right. So the description that you can't see there, because I'm not connected, says this is 120 puzzles. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're not buying the puzzle, you're buying the book. Okay. I'm going to switch for a second. Who's that? I'm going to switch for a second to an iPhone and show you something cool. Then we'll switch back here and I'll give away some books. So I have an iPod Touch, but it, but it wasn't connecting. I'm not sure why. So, okay. So um, uh, this is an iPhone. Gee, the screen's a lot smaller, although it's been blown out. But uh, you can see that there isn't uh, there isn't a lot of room here. And uh, this happens to be the sample. But let's leave the sample and let's go to a. Um, oh, we can go to puzzle in this book. This is what a cryptic looks like. And you can see that that is, um, you know, you can zoom in, and that's nice. You can zoom in a little further, but, gee, that would be really nice if we could get rid of that keyboard. Yeah. And so now, we do one more zoom here, and in that view, puzzle's pretty nice. And we can scroll around, and uh, let's find a word to see if we can. Hey Scott, do you know what this is? Oh, uh, the language level. Well, so this probably sounds like it's rank, and level is probably the definition. But, uh, so what? But I don't know what to do with that. Um, yeah. Oh, I know the answer. It's plain. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, but. But I can go and I can write in here, and we're going to pretend the answer to this is Tech Cafe. You can't see this, but look, look at my hand here, and I'm just writing on the screen. Whoops, not Tech Cafe, Tech Cafe. Oh, no keyboard, you just write. I'm just writing. Yeah. So on the iPad, the keyboard takes up you know a fifth of the screen, but you still get a lot of screen left over. On this device, the keyboard takes up the normal. We have a small keyboard; we did that deliberately. But the keyboard takes up a lot of room, and so it is so much more convenient to just go and write on the screen. Okay. Yeah, TouchWrite is our own handwriting recognition algorithm. It was. Um, designed, uh, optimized for these sort of devices. Okay, I'm going to show you, um, uh, let's 
see here. So, um, as you can see here, there's lots of different types of puzzles. This book has a bunch of weird ones. Um, and if we go to a puzzle like this, I'll unlock the screen. And if I rotate, it rotates uh, uh, one way if you rotate one way for left-handers, the other way if you rotate for right-handers. And again, you can still hide the, you can still hide the uh, keyboard and use handwriting on the iPad as well. Although it's not quite as helpful because you have plenty of room. Okay, let's jump into uh, something where everyone can win a. Um, um, so I have here. Everyone can have a free book. There's a promo code I'll give to everyone, uh, and that's we have five staff books, and so you can get one of our staff books for free with that promo code. And then I have some other uh, promo codes, which are for any book in the store. Uh, and so uh, I'm not going to make you use your own iPhone. Um, oh, by the way, you only get this if you promise to give us a five-star review. <laughs> a six-star review? Uh, okay, I can't actually bribe you, but if you don't want to give a five-star review, I want to know why, so we can fix it. How's that? Okay, so let's see. I wrote down some numbers here. Let's. So the first person... To shout out the answer wins a free book. And you're all at a disadvantage in the first one because you don't know how the puzzles work. These are Rebus puzzles. The boxes at the top will show you. Um, actually, we'll, we'll go to one. This is, this is a sample. This is ball bearings. Ba, L, bear, and a ring. Okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Let's see who get the next one first. Oh, great. Who said it first? <laughs> I need a judge. Anyone who said first? Oh, that's good. Raise, raise your hand when you're saying it. Okay. Okay, but someone, you have to watch from over here. Okay. And one of you watches this way. Okay. Okay, well, let's see here. Um, okay. There you go. Okay. Number 11. Okay. First time. Look at the length. Six steps. Right. Uh, <laughs> we could share. Do you have your own phone? Uh, then why could you share? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, the title. Who said that? Milligan's Island. Uh oh, this one's blank, so I'll let you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, next. Right. Thank you. Okay, we'll do one more. Here you go. <laughs> right. Is that you again? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. You can't win twice. Okay, we'll do This is the hard one. Good one, Dan. Pronunciation's not exact. Can I give a hand? This 
is a place. You might also think of this as a thing. Wow. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Well, we'll fill in the first letter. It doesn't help you much. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> First letter of the third word. Yeah. Now you're not slightly disadvantaged because you're all trying to be quiet. Because this is this is easier when you sound it out. So sound it out your head. So does everyone know the first word? Right, does everyone know the second word? Okay, give you a, we'll do another letter here. No. Okay, I think this is going to give it away, though. You got it. House of Rap Ross and Adonis. Yeah. <laughs> it says home of our way. So, <laughs> did not press it. Yes. So, anyway, this is one of the books. Uh, a lot of fun stuff in here. And um, don't forget to give us a, a five star review. Thanks a lot.